in our church, and this is something that Jacob was dealing with. The problem in our church is that a lot of us, we perpetrate. A lot of us act like we're saved. And we've been acting like we're, we've been saved for so long that it has become a part of us. And I'm here to tell you that if you do something for a long period of time, if you do something for a long period of time, I'm here to tell you that it will become second nature to you. You will sing when you feel like singing. You will preach. Come on, come on, somebody. You will preach when you feel like preaching. You will dance when you feel like dancing. You will run when you feel like running. And you're not a bit more saved in this podium than a preaching song. It becomes second nature. But the problem with Jacob is that Jacob had been doing some messed up stuff for so long. He was a favorite of his mother. So his mother made sure that he was taken care of. Because the Bible says that he went to his father at the unction of his mother. And the Bible says that he tried to fool his father because his father had gotten old and his father didn't see well and his father didn't know which son it really was. And Jacob took the blessing from his brother. The reason why Jacob was saying, you got to bless me now. Now, I want all of y'all to just be real. Can, can you be real with me for a second? The reason why Jacob was the way he was is because at that point, Jacob realized, because when Jacob got real saved, y'all, he was real saved. You see, the problem was is that he sent some she-asses ahead as a gift to his brother. There was no internet back then. There was no Twitter account. There was no Facebook. And so he didn't hear back from his brother. He sent maids. He sent women. He sent men. He sent all kinds of servants just as a gift to his brother, but he did not hear back from his brother. Uh -huh. And at that point, he was saying to himself, oh, man, I really messed up now. I, oh, God. Oh, man. I messed up now, and I don't know what's going to happen. Have you ever been like that in your life? Have you ever been in a situation in your life when you don't know what's going to happen? You don't know what's going to come your way? You don't know what's coming down the street? You don't know what's going to happen and you don't know where God is going to take you. But there's one thing you do know. And that is you've messed up because you treated somebody else.